Nate Rogers live in Kenosha tonight where there was a protest in response to the trial. Nate. Yeah, that's right, Natalie. Certainly an emotional day in court for families on both sides. Kyle Rittenhouse's mother left the courthouse today, declining to speak to reporters about the case. And following her son's testimony, victims loved ones protested, asking and calling for the 18 year old to be convicted. A couple dozen protesters marching near the Kenosha County Courthouse seeking equal protection under the law. Why did Jojo Rosenbaum, Anthony Huber, and Gage Grosswitz feel the need to stop an active shooter? Although Rittenhouse testified his actions were in self-defense, victims' loved ones claim he had clear motives with his AR-15 style rifle. Devin Johnson was friends with two of the men shot. Were your friends out to start trouble that night? No, absolutely not. Um, Jojo had just been released from the hospital and he was suffering with mental health issues and he had seen the protest and decided to join. <laughs> he can cry when he gets in a cell and they lock him up and give him his jersey where he's going to be for the next 20 plus years. Justin Blake has rallied outside the courthouse since the trial began. His nephew Jacob Blake was shot by Kenosha police seven times and today remains paralyzed. Blake supporters say the case highlights a disparity of how black and white suspects are treated under the law. This after nearly $500,000 has been raised towards the 18 year olds defense fund. We've never seen a black or brown defendant be given the kind of legal disposition that this defendant has been given. And protesters tonight were also upset at many of the judges' rulings, including not allowing prosecutors to refer to the men killed as victims. Now, those protesters say they will return to the courthouse tomorrow. They'll continue their rally here and for the duration of this trial. We're live in Kenosha, Wisconsin. Nate Rogers, Fox 32 Chicago.